Hi, this is Mark Weissman. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to make a video on um, just adding to my book list some uh, pure mathematics books. That was a very popular video that I made on pure mathematics books for uh, physicist entertainment. And in this uh, video, I'll add um, pure mathematics books on a topic that's probably my main interest in pure mathematics. I guess if I would describe my main interest in pure mathematics, it would be foundations, which includes set theory, logic, recursion, computability, model theory. And then uh, my other main interest would be um, number theory. So um, having said that, I'm going to add some books just that I own on the, on the foundations in this video. Some of them will repeat books that I had in the other video for uh, physics entertainment, but um, that's okay. So, if you're going to start out studying foundations, usually you, you I would recommend you start out with some uh, undergraduate books on um, set theory and logic. And uh, this guy, uh, Herbert Enderton, he wrote... Um, two excellent books. He actually wrote three of them, but the third one I don't think is that good. But he wrote two excellent books, undergraduate books. This is on set theory. And, um, you know, it covers, um, I'll show you the table of contents in a second, but it's at an undergraduate level. It covers the, um, you know, ZFC system for axioms, you know, um, and it goes through developing the construction of the real numbers and everything, and cardinals and ordinals and um, some special topics. As far as it goes, it proves the um, the uh, theorem on um, cardinality on, um, I can't remember the name of the theorem, but um, hold on, let me look it up. talks about cofinality and Koenig's theorem, which is like the only theorem we have on cardinality, basically, that uh, says anything useful. So this would be my recommendations to start set theory, and it's at the undergraduate level, a fairly easy read. And then he has a book on a, a mathematical introduction to logic. This is the best logic book that I found at the undergraduate level because it goes through all the details most of the other books sort of say various things and skip a lot of details, but this one doesn't. It goes through all the details on, you know, recursion and representing functions and, and so on. It doesn't skip any details, and it proves the incompleteness theorems and uh, undecidability. And it, um, it's, uh, I, liked, I like this book as the best logic book because it covers all the details at the undergraduate level. Now, another book that I think I've mentioned before is a book called Intermediate Set Theory. This book, um, I, I, don't, I can't look inside the book here, but this book also covers all the basic stuff in set theory, but it goes a little further to cover forcing and... Um, all of a sudden, I can't find the books. Oh. It covers um, forcing... And um, constructible sets and the independence things. So um, it's not an easy read toward the end. It goes through all these things on reflection principles and definability and absolute definability and everything. So I found this book. I got through the first like two thirds is fairly easy, but the last part, even though they give a lot of details, I, I didn't find it as an easy read. Another book um, that I have is The Joy of Sets by Keith Devlin. He's like a great mathematical writer of both popular books and textbooks. And um, this is one of the few books, he covers a lot of different things, but it's one of the few books, let me get to the table of contents here. He starts off with naive set theory and then goes to the zermelo frankel axioms. He covers a lot of the, the the routine things, but then he does a lot of things. He doesn't give as much detail as other set theory books does, but he talks about things that they don't like. Um, even though he doesn't prove these things on constructability and independent proofs, 
he discusses them, and he's the only one I know who discusses the uh, anti-foundation axiom. So um, if you're interested in that, which apparently has a lot of applications in computer science, you might want to look at that book. Now, the next book that I have, this is a, an interesting book. It's sort of seven-tenths... Um, Seven-tenths textbook and three-tenths popular books. It's like it says, the name says, it's really a tour through mathematical logic. And for some reason on Amazon, this is selling at an outrageous price, but on the uh, American Mathematical Society who published it, their website is relatively cheap. And I'll show you the table of contents is sort of routine. It doesn't really like prove anything. It, it sort of just states things, proves some things, but it really discusses a lot of the modern things like the um, Goodstein's theorem, the Paris-Harrington um, theorem, um, a lot of things in contemporary set theory, non-standard analysis, and constructive mathematics. So if you want to have something to read about a lot of like results in set theory after you've studied it, this is an excellent book to read. It's, it doesn't give the details, but it does give you a lot of results. Um, now, at the graduate level, this is a fantastic book by Mann, and this is the second edition. He gives a lot of the details, but uh, it's at the graduate level, and it goes quite fast. Once you've had, like, the undergraduate stuff, you can read this. He starts with, you know, truth and decidability. It's mostly on logic. But then he has a chapter on the continuum problem and forcing, and he shows you several different ways of doing it, one through Boolean-valued, um, universe. So um, this is a, uh, a really good book on um, giving you proofs uh, and, and, and the continuum problem and constru constructible sets. But then he has like two real fantastic chapters on basically Hilbert's 10th problem, recursive functions, and then he proves the Diophantin sets and algorithmic undecidability. It's the only place I've seen a really detailed discussion of this. Um, then he goes back to Godel's incompleteness results and recursive groups, and they added a chapter in the second edition. I have the first edition on um, model theory. So um, it's an excellent book, a lot of asides. He's a wonderful writer, and uh, the only problem is it's graduate level, so it's not that easy to work through it, but it, he covers a lot of different topics. Um, this is a book I've only read about 20% of. It's written by, I'm sorry, this is a book I've had a long time. It's a Dover book, um, Set Theory and the Continuum Hypothesis by Paul Cohen. This was the original book he wrote in the mid-60s. The first third of it goes through, you know, set theory and predicate logic and everything, but then it goes pretty fast. It's not that easy to understand. It's because I can't understand this that I bought a lot of other books to try and understand this, but one day I'm going to go through this again. This is like the original work in the mid-60s. Now, um, another book is uh, Set Theory and the Continuum Problem. Um, this is um, by Raymond Smullyan. Raymond Smullyan and uh, another co-author is, uh, is like the Feynman of logic. He passed away a couple of years ago, but... He was like the expert on logic, and he's written like so many books on logic. It's um, just like, I, you know, many of them popular, Many, some of them like about three or four standard textbooks and everything, like Godel and Completeness Theorems and everything. So, um, but this book, uh, I, I thought I could get through it. I got through about 20% of it, and it's um, it's just difficult. But he do talks about principles like he has his own principles like the superinduction principle and everything, and double induction and all these things. The word super in physics and mathematics always scares me. It can either mean super good or it can mean super hard or super useless. So whether it's super string, super symmetry, or superinduction, you make your uh, choice. Um, so this was the book I just showed you. Now, I only have one book on uh, computability and recursive function theorem. There are others. There are other, better ones. This is an easy book to read. It's by Cutland. 
and he sort of uses the register model, and it's an old book, or at least goes back to the 80s, but um, he, it's easy to prove, and he goes through things like uh, primitive recursive and Ackerman's function, which isn't primitive recursive, but is recursive. He covers a lot of interesting things um, on effective computation and everything. So um, it's well worth reading, and it's easy. Now, um, the next book, I found these books recently. I'm sorry. On the um, the foundation of mathematics by Kunin. Um, since I want to restudy this, and I don't want to read all my old books again, this is a very cheap, like, 18 to 26 dollars. It's by a renowned author, Kenneth Coonan, and I'll show you a standard book that he wrote. And in this book, he covers the foundations of mathematics. He basically has three chapters. It's about 270 pages. He has like basically three chapters. One is on set theory, one is on logic, and one is on recursion. And it's sort of like at a graduate level, um, and the idea is to get you to be able to read his other book, other books. So I really recommend this. If you've had set theory and you've had mathematical logic, I would um, recommend that you read, um, and you don't want to read the same books over again, you might want to consider reading this book. See, I've already started reading it, and I'm about 50 pages through, and it's really excellent. He's an excellent writer. Now, he's also the author of... Um, by the way, you can get a draft of this book. It's not complete. It only has like the first two chapters online. Um, if you just Google, you can get um, a graph of it. But it's not the same, And um, but just, just in case. Um, this was his standard book from a long time ago. And it's kind of like, you know, it's $50. It's not that cheap, not that expensive. Set Theory and Introduction to Independence Proofs, but it's old. It was published in, 19, in like 84, or let me see when it was published, uh, 1980. So he's updated this book, and he's got a new book, and it's called Set Theory, Studies in Logic. It's a cheap edition, and in this book he proves all the uh, independence results, and he uses forcing. He doesn't use um, Boolean algebras or anything. But um, I highly recommend this book. I, I, it looks like it's accessible. If you want to read about um, this kind of stuff, Kunin is like your go-to guy. And um, I highly recommend it. Now, there's a couple of other books. Um... So some of these books, like Manon's book, um, they, they take a Boolean algebra approach. There's two main approaches to this uh, whole set theory and independence proofs. One is Cohen's forcing method, and another one sort of bypasses that and uses Boolean algebras. Um, there's an old, it's hard to find a good book on Boolean algebras. There's an old book by Paul Halmos, very cheap. It's like $9, $10. It's lectures on Boolean algebras goes back to the early 60s and he covers everything you need on Boolean algebras to understand these um, probably these set theory books but this one's like fairly terse you sort of have to figure out yourself now he has another book they updated this book this is an undergraduate book in mathematics it's the same book basically except with all the details this is three times longer introduction to Boolean algebras it's like sixty dollars standard spring or hardcover, and um, you can see the chapters and everything are the same, but it's like three times longer, you know. And and if you read the preface, you'll see what I mean. But it's you know he just proves everything. What things that he leaves out of the other book, he proves in um, pretty good detail, and it's pretty easy. So if you want to get a book on uh, Boolean algebras, I, I highly recommend that. So. Um, that's all I have right now on the Foundations book. There are many other books, standard books on set theory and everything, but these are the ones that I have and that, like I said, these two new books that I have 
and maybe I'll get this Boolean algebra book and try and go through um, the other books that I have. But um, that should be enough to get you started on the foundations. Thank you very much for watching.